Hey guys, what's up? Evan from Stock Music Musician. Today I've got another installment on how to chop samples and how to make samples in Reason. Um, I've already done a couple of videos on this, on some of the other ways you can chop samples and use them in Reason. Um, you can see one on how I do it in the Kong, um, and this video is going to cover how to do it with the NNXT and with the NN19. But I've also done another video using the sequencer itself to chop samples. And so this method I'm going to use today uh, with the NNXT and the NN19 involves chopping the samples up a bit in the sequencer, but then actually manipulating them through the, uh, the reason samplers. So without talking too much more, let's get started. So I've got a vocal sample here um and let's just play it real quick Whatever you certainly clipping so let's just turn that down is Whatever. so it doesn't really matter what the sound is here i'm just wanting to capture it now what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna bounce this into samples and from there, we're going to import them into the NN19. Oops. So let's turn Snap off and hit R to select the Razor tool. You see Q, the finger. You can also click here, but R for Razor. And then click here. So now we've got each sample kind of cut up. Uh, in reality, you're going to want to spend a lot of time getting your start and stop points perfectly aligned because that's really a lot of the art of sampling is making it start and stop at interesting times but I'm just showing you how to do this um, not how to do it artistically uh, that will be a later tutorial so you select your clips highlight them um, and actually something you can do to help out would be to go right click on each click and add label so this would be like whatever and then I think she says here is what and I think she said this one is you take something like that so now when you bounce out the individual samples they will actually be titled whatever is what you take instead of like sample one sample two sample three and that can really help with just managing your samples down the road because in a big project it gets complicated so now you've highlighted all three of these you right click and you go to bounce and bounce clips to new samples um, and now you see they've showed up over here in the browser under song samples unassigned samples is what whatever you take cool so now we go to the rack Just I hit, I'm hitting F6 here there's a bajillion ways you can do it um, go to instrument and go with NNXT now you're going to right click on the NNXT to reset the device. What this does is it clears out all of the samples that are already loaded onto the NNXT right, would be loaded right here. And now this is where the samples are played. So you hit the browse sample and let's is highlight these three and just drag them right in there. And right now, let me pull up just the keyboard. You can see they're mapped by the way these boxes go to all the notes each note is going to play all three of them so if I hit like a C um, let's let's go up to a slightly more doesn't that sound lovely so the first thing we're going to want to do and there's several ways you can use the NNXT to manipulate samples but the first thing I'm doing is just going to show you how to chop samples. So we've got these three samples here, and you do auto map zones chromatically. And basically what that does is that assigns one sample to each key. Um, so right now I'm hitting the keyboards too, and too high of an octave. So when I hit these, nothing happens. These higher notes, when I go down to the C1, is what? You gave whatever. So I'm hitting the notes what? here, what? and it's triggering each one. I'm not affecting the pitch 
at all. I'm just triggering them, telling them to start. So, is whatever you gave, whatever you gave, is whatever. So I didn't do a great job of start uh, slicing the sample. So one thing you can do to make that happen a little better is adjust the sample start time. Whatever. What if, so now when I hit it, what the if, sample immediately what, starts. But without it, what if, what and you so even if you don't do a great job chopping, you can fix it here. What? But I want to show you another way of doing it. So let's. I'm just going to delete. Uh, delete this one and this one, and instead right click on it and do. Auto map zone. So now every key on the sampler controls the sample and it's going to pitch it up or down from the root of C1. So, um, so <laughs> that's not really a great sound here, for example, but let's go down. Basically, this can be very helpful at times, but as I noted in my other videos on sampling, every sampler has its own pros and cons and reason. In this method, when you auto map it to all the notes, um, changing pitch affects the tempo of the, uh, of the sample. And sometimes you want that, sometimes you don't. Um, but that is a problem with using the N and XT. Whatever, whatever, whatever you. So, um, that's something to be aware of. Now you can use the method that I showed in one of my previous videos about chopping samples in the sequencer to actually time stretch your samples so that they're the right length without affecting the pitch because that's one of the benefits of using the sequencer and then you could bounce a sample from the sequencer into the NNXT just like I did earlier in this video. Um, so that is something to be aware of. A lot of these methods can be used together. Um, now I'm just going to show you basically how to do the same thing. Um, and there's a lot of filtering, uh, just before I do that, there's a lot of filtering you can do on the NNXT. Um, if you just Google NNXT tutorials, there's a ton out there. Um, I just wanted to show you how to get samples into them.